Are you using Todoist or thinking about getting started and you're wondering if you could import or use templates, maybe create your own, have a way to quickly get projects or lots of complicated tasks up and running quickly? If so, you're in luck. We are gonna cover that in this short video, so stay tuned and let's just hop right into it. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy, and as promised, we're going to talk about Todoist and templates. There's a couple different ways to go about this, uh, so we'll touch on both of them. So first and foremost, potentially you have your own or you've created something custom or you want to create something custom, and you want to be able to quickly you know, turn that into a template that maybe you can share with others, um, maybe save somewhere safe and import later down the line, How, whatever that might want to be. One of the best ways you can do this is to open up one of your projects and or create a project and we're just going to add some tasks here uh, as an example so this is an important task and then we're going to have a sub task and another task okay so obviously you would probably have something more complicated than this but this is just to give you an example of you can build out whatever you need subtasks uh, have everything you want and then come up here where you see the three dots and this is where you're going to want to go export as csv we can click on that now you can export as a shareable url or you can export as a csv file for this video i'm going to show you exporting as a csv file uh, that way you could potentially save this somewhere like a shared google drive uh, dropbox something like that where you can have that maybe have your collection of project templates easily accessible and down here, you can use relative dates, meaning tomorrow gets turned into plus one day. That can be really handy because otherwise, if you're using dates maybe that don't make sense, uh, then it's gonna get kind of confusing. So probably want that, but there may be times you don't want that. Now, I've already exported one. When you do this, it just prompts you know, a box to choose where you wanna save it, give it a name. Um, by default, it saves it as the project name. So if you need to change it, for example, or maybe add template to it, um, that could be helpful. Make sure you give it a descriptive name so you can easily find it later okay and then what happens if we want to bring that back let's say now okay I need this thing uh, I want to start this new project I want to import my template well we just come back over here import from CSV and we can drag and drop or you can just upload from your computer and we have it right there work.csv and it imports it and there we go we see that this was the one I created not too long ago we've got a few tasks and a subtask easy 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 so let's go ahead and clear this out now i want to share the different way to do this uh, todoist has a lot of great templates you can browse templates over here and you can search through you can see along the left here we have work personal education management marketing and sales development design and product a bunch of different stuff 2024 goals let's check that out um, so we've got start a side hustle cook more at home read more books annual review all right i think that's a really important one let's see what this one looks like it looks uh, like if we click on it, then yeah, we do get the uh, preview and we can see how to use it. We see that there's all these different things. Let's say we want to use it and we can just click on import to project and it just gets thinking in the background and it is going to take this information and pull it into wherever we are at. So that's why it can be handy to already be in a project. For example, if you were in your inbox, it would add it into there. Okay, there we go. Took a minute. Uh, but now we can see that this has all been pulled in there. So this one was quite a bit, pretty extensive. Um, so really handy, really nice to have. And those are a few of the great ways you can use templates, either by creating or using others and then importing into your Todoist account. So hopefully this was helpful for you with your Todoist use. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave it below. Otherwise, feel free to check out the other videos on the Productivity Academy YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.